Hi, it's Karen from the Sensitive Foodie Kitchen. Now today I want to share with you my magic pastry recipe. Eating a whole food plant-based diet, it can actually be quite difficult to find a pastry that works because traditionally it's made with um, fats like butter or lard, um, dairy-free spread, and often the ones that you, you can buy in the shops, they, they may be vegan, but they contain unhealthy fats, which could be some palm oil or other highly refined fats and fat derivatives. On a whole food plant-based diet, it includes lots of fats, but in its whole form, like in nuts and seeds. My pastry is magic as well because it tastes fantastic and because it's made from whole ingredients, it contains lots of fantastic nutrients that your body will love and you'll just love the taste. Okay, for this pastry, we're going to use a combination of seeds and oats, some ground flaxseed and a little bit of salt and, pep salt and pepper and some water. So I've um, got here, so today I'm going to use a mixture of pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds and as you can see, they're not whole, so I've already ground them down. So that's um, one cup, I love my cups, they're very pretty, which is about 90 grams, so we're going to pop them into the bowl. And um, then I have got 100 grams or one cup of oats. Now, if you follow a gluten-free diet, make sure that you get gluten-free oats. These are just normal ones. And then I am going to add some of the black, uh, uh, flax seed. So I'm going to put in a tablespoon and a half of ground flax seed. And so we're also going to add in a little bit of salt and pepper. So there's my salt. I've got some nice pink Himalayan salt and a little bit of black pepper. And then I always use a little whisk. I don't know why, it's my little, little thing just to make sure that everything's all well mixed together. Um, there we go, it's a little bit lumpy, but that's fine. No, not a problem because it's all gonna come together. Now, um, I've got here um, 120 mils of cool water. Um, so if you remember from the other day, I did a, a flax egg. So that's the equivalent, three tablespoons of water is like 45 mils. So it's more, we've got one and a half tablespoons here. So it's like you're making a, a flax egg plus a little bit more to bind the water to, uh, to bind the flowers together. But I'm not actually going to put all of it in. I'm just going to put some, some of it in and leave a little to come back to. And then we're just going to bring this together. So very easily it starts sticking together. And, and then I'm just going to use my hands. Now at the minute it's quite sticky. But what we're going to do is just going to bring it very lightly together into a ball and then put it to one side for five minutes for the, whilst the flaxseed absorbs all the water and then we'll have a look and see what it looks like in a minute. Okay, so five minutes has gone by and the flaxseed has uh, really absorbed the fluid. So I hope you can see how this has changed. It was really quite sticky before, but now it's much firmer. So it's ready to use. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to roll it out. Now it's still a little bit sticky, so I've got this chunk and I'm going to roll it out to put into this small tartlet tin. So I'm just going to press it down on the, on the mat. This is just a silicon mat so it doesn't stick. Then I'm just going to put a bit of greaseproof paper over the top. Roll it out. I'm going to turn that round so we get it a little bit more equal and so you can see that's all rolled out and then all you need to do is just flip it over. I'm going to try and do it so you can actually see what I'm doing. So it sticks to the silicon mat but as it just, you peel it off and then you just drop that into the tin. Now this pastry is fantastically forgiving which is great. Um, if you're a little bit heavy handed like I can be at times. So all you need to do is just press it into the tin um, and then just trim it off. And that bit's a bit low so I'm just going to mend that up. It's Like I say, it's so forgiving the fact that you can just patch things as you go along. So I just trim that off. Ready? That's a little bit thin on that bit so I'm going to add a little bit more there you want it reasonably equal. 
And there you go. One pastry tin. And it's as simple as that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, prick the bottom with a fork like you would with any pastry. And then I'm going to bake that in the oven for nine minutes. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's cooked. Okay, so these are ready. The buzzer's just gone off and I've just turned the oven off. So I made four and a half out of, of that pastry. And if we bring it over to the window, and then you'll be able to see. So these are already nicely beginning to firm up at the edges here and lightly browned. And um, these you can use um, to put another filling in. So you can use it for um, tartlets. I use this base for my pump roasted uh, pumpkin tart that's in, the, in my cookery book. Um, you can just put some roast potato, roast potatoes, roast vegetables in there, and basil, all sorts of things that you can use the base for. If you're not going to bake them again, then pop them back, e back in the oven for another few minutes, just so that it's firmed up completely. Otherwise, you can just put a filling in, and then they'll cook merrily in the oven as long as you want them. And that's it. That's my magic pastry. Magic because it's so easy to make, and magic because you're not using any refined fats um, and it just all wonderfully comes together and tastes great. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you give it a go. Do let me know if you do. And if you want to find out more, don't forget to check out my website, which the details are down below here. Okay, thanks. See you another time. Bye.